Well, I'm back with another video. I saw this video by Simply Sork yesterday where he showed off a very cool thing where he created custom uh, user overlays, so kind of like a boss bar or something, but you don't need the boss bar. And if you look in the distance, you can see these 10 hearts, and that is actually not pixel art, that is actually one of those custom interface thingies. So Sark didn't really explain how he achieved this, he, well, he said he did it using custom block models, but that's pretty much it. He didn't leave us uh, a resource pack download or a world download or, or anything, so I just figured I'd uh, try it myself and see how hard it was. And it actually, it requires uh, some, you know, some trial and error to figure out the correct values and stuff for this, because yeah, it's Minecraft and that's usually how things work. Um, but other than figure out how you can actually do it, I also made a tool where you can generate your own custom user interfaces like these. And that is actually very easy and takes like a minute or something to make one. So I also prepared another example which is a computer craft interface. It obviously doesn't work or anything, it's just an image, but it's still really cool and it's yeah, it opens up a lot of options for adventure maps. One thing I should note is that with any texture in Minecraft, um, these images need to be square. So, for instance, these hearts, they don't look square, but it's actually a transparent PNG file that has the same width as height, so it has a lot of transparent space in the height region, if you know what I mean. So, if you guys want a more in-depth explanation of how you can actually achieve this by hand without a tool, just let me know and I'll do a video on it, but for now I'm just gonna show you guys how to use the tool. Okay, so to use this tool you can click the link in the description below and that will bring you to this page. On this page you will see a couple of buttons. First up there is the scale button on top and that you, you can actually use that to resize the overlay to make it a bit bigger or smaller. Then there is the browse button where you can select your overlay file. So I'm just going to select the terminal one that I used in the example. Then the next input thing is the name of the block um, texture, block model <laughs> you actually want to replace. So for instance diamond sword will replace the block model of a diamond sword. The names of these uh, block model files are usually very straightforward, but if you want to know the exact name of a certain thing, you can just open your Minecraft jar and navigate to the block models folder and there you will find the exact name. But anyways, I'm going to use Diamond Sword here. Next up there is of course the interface itself. The grey area pretty much represents the area that the user will see in game. So you can reposition the overlay itself by dragging it around and I'm just going to center it and also I'm going to adjust the scale so it appears bigger because yeah it has to look like the real thing and once you're done with that and you're satisfied with what you uh, actually got you can click the get resource back button below and that will actually bring up a new page with a green download button where you can click and that will bring up a dialog asking you if you want to download, just click OK. And the downloaded zip file is actually the resource file, so it will have a number as the file name that looks a little bit random. You can just rename this, um, so it makes more sense when you select it in your uh, Minecraft folder. But anyways, you want to open your .minecraft folder, then navigate to resource packs. Once that is open, you're going to have to locate the downloaded zip file and you you just have to copy it inside the resource packs folder. So you can do this in a various of ways, but clicking and dragging usually works. So I'm just going to rename this terminal so I actually know what it is. And then I'm just going to open up Minecraft again, click options, click resource packs and then it will be there on the left side. So I call the terminal, I'm just gonna select it there, uh, remove the other one, and now you just wanna click done, and that will actually take a few seconds for all the things to load, but once that is done, and I uh, select the diamond uh, sword here, you will actually see that I have the custom overlay. 
So that is pretty much it, um, that's all I have to say for this video, so I just want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.